Mr. Rajiv Bhattacharya. Uh, VTrans uh, has created a separate entity, V Express, which shows the focus on the last mile segment. Uh, what kind of differentiated solutions has V Express been uh, brought to the table for the customers? Uh, what are the customer segments you're targeting in the express space? And uh, are there drivers which you're seeing beyond uh, e-commerce? Uh, and if I look at the segment, uh, that is uh, uh, contactless delivery has become the new trend. Uh, how is that trend emerging and what role technology is playing in the same? Thanks, Ajay, for uh, giving the opportunity. Uh, well, uh, we express is primarily into a B2B uh, express delivery business. So basically we are uh, carrying products, whatever you can think of, right? From air conditioner to a water, water purifier to anything. So uh, uh, now when you come to a last mile delivery, now the challenges of e-commerce is very different than the challenges we have in a B2B scenario. Because in e-commerce, you have an on-demand demand kind of a service where your location is still more in more finite. Whereas in our case, it is not an on-demand. It is it is actually it is coming from the uh, sender to the receiver, and it is not always that we have the GPS coordinates of the receiver. It is always uh, uh, because because you are not logging into the system and you are ordering. It is it is actually through the uh, traditional way of placing an order and, and then, then so, so many times the GPS coordinates are, may not be there in the database. And that's where what Mr. Rajkiran said, the guy will call up and say, where is your location? Is it next to the temple or behind the building? So that kind of a scenario does happen. So uh, so that's that challenge still remains with us, with the B2B category players. And, and uh, we, we still try to find out uh, solutions like we, we are tying up with SaaS uh, companies who can provide us more uh, reliable coordinate uh, data so that we can have more uh, finite information and more routing uh, optimizations. Um, because without that, PIN code is a very big subject, very big area today in a, in a GPS scenario and optimization. You cannot actually do it at GPS. Pin code. So we are trying to optimize and and make our system also learn through the through the databases, through the coordinates we use uh, through the mobile devices. We try to marry them and trying to build up the uh, learning uh, phase in the system. So this is a machine learning which is in progress, which is which is still taking time to uh, learn and, and 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 make the system more stronger to uh, understand and optimize the last mile. Uh, and again, I, I agree with uh, Mr. Rajkiran when he said that uh, in a B2B scenario, uh, the mid mile is the most expensive. That mid mile constitutes anything from 40% to 50% of your cost. Uh, last mile will will do about, uh, eight, it will vary from eight to 12% depending upon different locations and geographies. So uh, the last mile, Cost per se is not that high. What what we talked the initial phase in, in a B two B scenario was in a in a, uh, in a B two B and a B two C scenario. It is definitely that's a very bigger chunk of cost because it is a per unit smaller deliveries which you are doing some and that's where the unit cost goes up. Now in in terms of the segment, as I said, the segment we capture is generally uh, we we are also playing a big role in the e commerce, but again that is mainly like the vendor to the DCs, DCs to DC, those kind of uh, uh, models we are doing. Now, because of this uh, particular model of uh, DC to DC and vendors to DC, now a unique pattern has come up with the appointment deliveries. Now, because of the shortage of space and the scheduling of uh, the, the cycle of the inventory kept in the warehouses. So there's a schedule appointment which goes and, and, and that becomes a lot of a lot of time is tricky. It's a tricky affair, particularly in the seasonal time, where uh, because the appointment, because the vendors are sending at once, so that there's no gap in terms of the supply chain for uh, the e-commerce companies, and it keeps piling on in our warehouses, and and then you are doing the deliveries with a delay of seven days and ten days kind of a scenario. So that's a new challenge which has come. So we have to keep a backup storage in our uh, warehouses so that we can cater to those 
uh, scheduled uh, deliveries of, of these e-commerce uh, companies. So that's another challenge which is uh, posing us, and, and this is round the clock. So it is no more nine, eight to eight to five or eight to six kind of scenario. It is a round the clock. Amazon takes delivery round the clock. Flipkart takes round the clock. So we have to keep our uh, the, the last mile delivery on a 24 by seven cycle. It's seven, not even six. It's seven cycle we have to keep. So that's definitely the big challenge which. And we have changed our our model accordingly so that we are able to cater to those uh, requirements. Um, other other than that, one of the major segments we cater is the electrics, electric uh, is, uh, uh, com components, LT and ST both. Uh, that constitutes a very big part of our business. Then of course, lifestyle is another big segment we cater. I'm just talking about the major segments we, we cater. And then the IT products and IT peripherals also constitutes a, a very large uh, segment for our, for our product. FMCG also we do uh, quite a lot, as rightly said by uh, uh, Ms. Wagen Raj about the Unilever model. So there are a lot of FMCG models, uh, companies who are going direct to customers, consumers, and we are catering to that. Apart from that, so the B2B models are still available, uh, which are we are doing it. Uh, in terms of the contactless deliveries, uh, uh, unfortunately, un unlike the e-commerce where everything is on a mobile phone, here the customer wants a physical copy because there are uh, payment links to it and there are there are uh, legal things which are linked to it. So uh, they want a physical copy of the, if not a physical, at least the e-POD has to be there. The, the, the signed copy of the POD has to be there. We have tried, we are, we are still trying to eradicate that. During the COVID period, we tried, but still the system doesn't allow in a business scenario where they want a physical copy or an e electronic uh, PDF copy of the POD. So what we are doing is now at the time of delivery, we are capturing the POD, signed POD uh, through the mobile devices, and we are uploading it with the customer can retrieve. And but again, what happens, the quality of those pictures are not always great. So with what we do is we again rescan it at our centers and that gets overwrited. So with that, what we are doing, we are ensuring at least the digital copy is available, even if it gets misplaced in the courier and, and in the transit, still we have a digital copy at the first, at the last point when it is getting delivered and we capture that. Apart from that, of course, digital payment is, is, uh, is already uh, common thing nowadays, so that of course we are doing it. Uh, we have tried with the SMS uh, model also, but it's still not that prevalent in the B2B scenario because uh, uh, the dispatch person or the receiving person doesn't want to receive too many SMS. So that becomes a challenge in the B2B scenario. So uh, primarily those uh, are the unique things in a, in a B2B scenario, which generally don't get talked about because we are talking too much about the e-commerce nowadays, but there are different inherent challenges which we have in, in a last mile. And of course, with the fuel cost going up, that's a big challenge because uh, the EVs are still not uh, that prevalent in a B2B scenario because the capacities are of those vehicles are still limited. Uh, so we're waiting for more technology to come in where we can adopt. EVs and, and try to optimize our cost uh, in the last mile delivery. To, to, sum, it, to sum it up, basically, uh, B2B challenges are different. There are, there are uh, traditional things which are still continuing in the system. There are modernization which have happened, but still there are traditional things which we have to maintain, by which we are not completely able to digitize the whole end-to-end -end process. There are still gaps in terms of where you have to have physical touch points. Thank you.